Right, this is Sheila in 2010. I'm just going to do a cassette tape re-recording from the original tapes of my visits to Swatham. Swatham, Bulbeck, um, Churchyard and Graveyard, which aren't always, there's an, a graveyard that I found later um, oh, uh, just up the road from the main church. Um, and then I go to Swatham Prior, which has links with my ex-husband Dave Lockwood's um, grandfather, whose sisters were baptised there, and his um, great-grandmother, Phoebe Chapman, was actually born in Swatham Prior. So they've got quite a close link to Cambridgeshire. But no one acknowledges anything. It's weird how people are with this tree thing. They don't believe anything's possible, I think. Anyway, not to worry. This is Sheila then, going back in time to my visits to the Swathams and to a place called Reach. So here we go. Right, it's the 19th of August. I'm going to attempt to go to the Swathams today. Row, 
Debenham, Bladen, Burton, Hay, Turner, Sturgis. That's all the new ones, and there's a great big thundercloud coming. I'll do the old ones. Um, Hasby, Butler, Willard, Crisp, Hart. These are still new ones, by the way. Bareford, lots of butlers, browns, lots of hearts, more butlers, Edwards, big stone of an Edward, Stevens, Thundercloud getting very close, Walsh, Sarah E. Walsh, Rowland, Stevens, Singleton, Fordham, Green, Willard, 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 Butler, Knight, Bowers, um, bloody storms right over it, more or less. Um, who's this there? Lucy Ison, who died July 19th. 19 something, 24, 71, and John Ison. That's an Ison. Oh, this is Big Edwards. Crick. A Hancock. I said Knights and I. Back. 
Stanley was back. He died in 1874, age 71, and Alfred John, son, died in age 27 in 1918, and Jane died in 1926, age 76. So Susan Cornwall, Cornwell, um, doing a big scan. Henry Thompson, there's one under here somewhere, this is Swap and Bulbeck, Ada, wife of Arthur Reeve, who died 1901, age 28, also Minnie, his daughter, died 1901, April the 14th, they died close to each other, there's a little like shelter place here as well, a wooden thing, Charlotte, wife of Robert Blinko, died 1895, age 66, and Robert died 1905, age 79. Sarah Elizabeth, wife of Thomas Rolfe, died 1892, age 20, and Thomas Rolfe died 1917, age 63, and Ernest Rolfe died 1918, age 31. Abraham Fordham, he died in 1893, age 63, and Elizabeth, Elizabeth Fordham died in 1918, age 77. James Smith, Ruth Fordham, somebody, Thompson, a butler, a Spalding, there's another Fordham, a Howe. I've nearly got round. In loving memory of our little brother, Wilderson, died 18th of December 1898, 5. There's a couple right up in the corner, old ones, flat ones. Martha Giblin. Of course, the link with um, Swaff and Bulbeck is mainly the, the Isaacson link. There was a um, part of the, the main Isaacson tree which we're related to um, resided in Swaff and Bulbeck, and there was also um, a reverend there back in time, round back Cromwell's time. Uh, and I've put, on my tree, I've actually put a story about what happened to him and everything, how he was deposed, then he was reinstated. Um, and all this sort of thing. Anyway, back to the cassette. Somebody Topman. Another Tottenham. Stevens. Another Tottenham. Another Stevens, another Stevens, another Stevens. Covered up with ivy, I suppose I should look really. Not one Mason Brooks or Isaacson so far, or Sizer. Somebody Humphrey, Hancock, another Hancock, a Watson, Fordham. A 
I do find out a lot more about the Stibes at some point anyway, go back further with um, burials and marriages and births and everything. I, I do do a lot. Um, I still haven't located any of um, Louis Williams' brothers and sisters yet, but I do know that he ended up being buried in Brooklyn, New York. But that's another story, and that will come on a later tape. Back to this tape in 2006. Um, I don't know the relationship between Louis William and Richard. I do know. He's his uncle. Richard Stibe is Louis William Stibe's uncle. I have got a strong feeling that they are related somehow. There's also a Philip Stibe who had a... I think it's Philip, either a Philip or a William. Yeah, he's... Um, 
Louis Williams' uncle as well, uh, and he he's um, the brother of uh, Louis, Louis Williams' father. And there was a John Stye born in 1776, St Mary Somerset, in the heart of London, who I need to locate. And a Caroline Stipes as well. It's Stipe with a Z on the end, who was born in 1800 in Marleybone. St Mary's Marleybone. So when I go to the Guildhall, hopefully I'll be able to get some information also about the Palantines. When I go to the Metropolitan Archives of Stepney, a very strong German body of people who sort of took over Stepney, very much like the Asian population of Bethnal Green now. Um, the East End has always been like a ghetto area, if you like. I don't like to use the word ghetto, but people tend to congregate together for security, I suppose. Um, my mum would turn in a grave if she went to the East End now, knowing that it was so different. But then that happens to us all the time, I suppose. I'm very eager to locate London people's graves as well. I mean, I'm doing all this Cambridge area at the moment, but I'm, I do intend to home in on London. That's another part of being up this way. St Mary's Swaffham Prior seems to have two churches. I'm going to go in the first one. Church is open, and there's a plaque on the wall here of Charles Chester Infant, who died January the 12th, 1793, aged five weeks and three days. Lawrence Fisher was a vicar here. Charles Peter Alex, A -L -L -I -X, or Church Wardens, and Charles Cole Ambrose. Here lies the body of Roger Grant, Esquire, son and heir of Roger Grant, Esquire, by Eleanor, wife, who changed her life for better. Died 1684. Yes, wooden ceiling, no angels and such, lots of great big slate slabs on the walls, plaques. Um, here lies the body of Roger Rant, another one who deceased the 26th, May the 26th, year 1654, when he was 55. And another Roger Rant, who died in 1728, age 67. A war memorial of people, there's a Tossity, a Hawks, a Flack, a Simmons, a Atkinson, a Benstead, a Brown, a Bullman, a Camp, a Hatley, a Heifer, a Jagger, a Jaggard, a Long, a Norton, a Palmer, a Scott, a Sheldrick, a Whitmore. A Taylor, a Sergeant, a Preston, a Pimenter. A Ling. Martin Hill died January, and it's in Latin, so I don't know, some time ago. There's a very big slab on the floor of Catherine Somebody. Died 1828 36. It could be Herman. Anne Maria Herman. Anne Maria Herman. Mystery. Coming out to the altar. I say Swaffham Prior seems to have um, two churches. I'll probably get a book on the history. Edward Gordon. 
Gordon Young, captain of the Royal Engineers, who served uh, on active service 1899 to 1900 in South Africa. Charles Alex. in the wall with brass of Robert Chambers, gent, buried the 28th of August, 1638, and other people. George Gilbert, to the memory of George Gilbert Thomas Wagger, sons of the late John Potter, Alex. Of the parish, who died in one the Gilbert died in Redundant Churches Fund. It's stuck on there, so it must be redundant this one, but why have two? Really weird. Why well, they've got two churches? Alex Burials. I am going slightly unorthodox route. Emery, a Simmons, a Plum, a Lesson, a 
evening. With a big crispy rectangular grave for three people, and Emily and Myra and Ellen all there together. I don't like these rectangular ones, you can hardly ever read them. And Adams. Collins. Pratt. Sturgis. Beaton. Oh, no, no, Preston, I mean. And Ison. We've got an Ison here. Frances Jane, wife of Arthur Ison, died 1928 60, and Arthur died 1951 80. That's an Ison grave. And next to that, you've got Winifred Mary. And that, I've got to pull that away. But it's a Woolard, isn't it? Yeah. Mary Woolard, wife of somebody. Died in. 1931, age 41. Listing this quicker. Like I said I always go back and do full inscriptions if I want to do Fletchers, Frosts. I'm just going over the other side a minute. Back over the other side. There's a prince there, Eliza Prince, who died in 1929 78. And Frederick Charles Prince, who died in 1945, age 84. There's a prince near an oak in Dullingham. That's why I'm doing that. A Willis. A galley. I'm just ca keeping track as I go down. I'm just going back. It's very sparse on one side, whatever plot this is. But it's a mixture of old and new. A Yarrow. A Thompson. A Badcock. A Badcock. A Payne. A Bye. There just says a um, lot here you can't see. They've Adams, big Adams family plot here. <sighs> William Herbert, eldest son of Rich and Sarah Peters, who died in Dublin, 1921, aged 39, and Sarah, who died in 1921, also, aged 63. That's weird, isn't it? Well, they died at the same time. More buys, potters, webs, palmers, soldier's grave of a tea palmer, private, who died in 1918, aged 25. Another buy, Cooper, a day, another day. Ashby, Wart Nibby, Wadham, Hawks, another yeah, Wadhams, a few Wadhams here, Hawks, um, Edward Milgate, died in 1938 78, and his wife Maria, Herbert Lowe, Thomas Moore, Benstead, a Cornwall, another Cornwall, a Fletcher, a Hawks, some I can't read, an As Asby, Kogan, Johnson, Scott, Bowden, 
Jackson. Aldous. Big, oh, big um, black cloud over in the east, over the bluff. I'm going to burst in a minute. I've got to get a move on. I might just go and shelter in the church for a minute while this is going on. I'm desperate to go to the loo again, and I... There's a couple I've missed. Big one here, a butcher. You can bet your life if I didn't bloody do it, Paul. Ben's dead. Right, that's the big church done. It's just coming over really black, so I think I'm going to go and back and shelter in the church in it. Around clockwise on the path going around the church, the first church is Joseph Driver, he died 1877, age 47, and William, no, Eliza, the wife of Joseph, died then, and their son William also died in 1871. Clouds are gonna erupt and then it stops. That must be leading down to the vaults down there. Vaults underground, spooky. And the back of the church. Could 
Stone, Matthew Witt, Swaffram Pryor died February the 6th, 1821, age 60, and Sarah, his wife, died 1851, age 86. That's a Witt. More Witts. It's a, a big upright thing, great big thing, like a big table. There's one with railings around it. Cutting, a Gilby, Jim Gilby, was farm bailiff for 48 years, and Mr. Witt of this parish, and in the family of Mr. Witt of this parish, and who died 1879, age 70, also Annie Gilby, with lots of Gilbys at some, um, so one, about the one behind the railings, uh, Aspie, doing the ones up against the wall now, behind the churches. Mr. John Little, late of the Fen, farm bailiff, died 1860, age 61. I'm just sort of working my way up and down the stones at the moment, trying to take my mind off the fact that I want to go to the loo again. Fife and Thomas, and son of Thomas and Anne Webb, who died this on 1891, is 38, and Elizabeth Webb, who died in 1954, age 87. So there's a little Webb family there. Little Webbs. Big one of Thomas Webb, who died 1868, 75, and Anne, who died 1878, age 84. That's a big one. Going back down towards these trees, a watling, yeah I've done those, um, Miles and Willis Piper, right, right. Very, very large ones. Some of these stones are huge. It makes you wonder about ours whether they were this high up. That's a right. Died in 18, some 21 age. Not quite sure how old. Just reminding us that this is Swaffham Prior, the place with two churches, two towers. One redundant and used for recreational reasons. Elizabeth something as well. Danton died in 18 something or other. 57 I think. I don't know who she was but she's on the same grave. I'm going to try and get a picture of both these churches in sync. I've just run out of film. Butcher Amy Harvey, beloved child of James and Adelaide Butcher, also Emily. She died when she was seven, one of them did, in 1883. The other one died, one I think, in 1879. Webs. Yeah, I think I've done these. I'm just gonna have a look through the window of this church a minute. It's not stained glass. Oh, it's like you have it for council meetings or something. Yeah, they've spent a lot of money on it, haven't they? Doing all the windows and everything. Oh, that would be handy, won't it? What are you going to do about that then? Is there a chemical toilet or...? 
Uh, one of the ladies inside was telling me that back in the olden days, there were two knights or something who were competing one one another, and hence there's two churches built. Now one's redundant, but it's used for bands playing there, and they're having their reception in there. So at least it's being used, and it has, I've been inside, and it has been done up. Harriet Amy Crisp, 1871 is 18. A lot of Crisp families here. Getting right behind the church now. Hearts. Yeah, to do that sort of thing. 
so that's the end of the tape, nearly. Never found any of our names, though. There's an old Methodist church here, near Road Park and Van. It's up for sale. It was built in 1862, usual type Methodist. An old Methodist church. Very plain. Um, it's the Zion Baptist Chapel. Looks like they still have uh, services there. It's up for sale. It's going to rain, I think. Might be lucky. I'm just going to walk down here a minute. Let me just get my other camera. Right. End of the tape. End of the bush to weigh in. Weird, really. Bumping into those people who had the keys to let me into that disused church for their wedding function. They actually live in Bottersham. And they now know where Bottersham Place is. And they're getting married in Bottersham Church. Hmm, weird. Not much of a tape, lad.
Right, that's the end of that side of the cassette. I will be doing side two where I will go, we'll start with Reach when I do side two. So this is Cheetah in 2010, looking back in 2006 when I was out looking at the Swathams, Swatham Bulbeck and Swatham Prior. And then I was out exploring, I didn't know where I was going, which was great. And it was across um, the marshland, the fenlands of Suffolk. Very flat, very boggy. So, over and out for now.